Okay guys, what's up? It's Nick from MigratIphon.com and today we have a review on the eye appeal skins. These were kindly sent out for us by eye appeal to review. And just to let you guys know, um, there will be a giveaway on this because I do have tons of them as you can see. So I'm going to give them all away to you guys. On to the review. So basically what eye appeal, uh, the idea of the company is that you design your own skins, as you can see here. Um, for your iPhone, your iPod Touch, your iClassic, the iPod Nano, and you get a software disk as you can see right here. You install this to your Windows PC. So, guys, this is only for Windows, this software. So, if you have a Mac, you're going to have to try and find a Windows um, computer, and you need an inkjet printer to print these. But you put that in, you run it, you install it, and then you run the program. Once you've designed your skin to how you like it, and you can choose all sorts of things, you can add your own pictures, write text on it, all sorts. They have some pre-installed backgrounds like this one right here. And then you get your plain um, skin like this. You put it in your printer. As you can see, it says feed this direction. So you need to know your printer. So it won't give you anything like that. But you need to know how you put your, your stuff in your printer, your paper, and then it'll print out. And it... And I was pretty surprised with it. I thought it would smudge a lot, and um, but it didn't. It looks pretty good. Now, my printer isn't the best, so it has a few streaks in it, but it does look pretty cool, you must admit. So, that's that. So, we're just going to install it right now, guys. So, move this to the side. And it's I've already lifted the tabs. That's the first step. So, you lift these tabs, and then you peel back A. It's got it all labelled out for you guys, so it's nice and easy. Okay guys, so we've got it installed, um, it did take a few minutes to install, and it's still got a few bubbles in, but you can squeeze them out if you're going to be using this for a long time. I just rushed this installation for purpose of this video. Now, um, I'm not sure if you can pick it up on camera, but my hands are actually black, well not black, but they got the black and it's picked up from this skin. Um, basically, I guess it's just the ink from the skin. Um, and so yeah, um, and it's also gone on my phone. Now if you've got a white phone, you will notice it more. I'm not too bothered about it because I will probably take it off and I can just clean it with my Omni Cleans. But just be aware of that, guys. Now I didn't install it um, cleanly, so to speak. It's not like on straight or anything like that. I'm, I just rushed it for the purpose of this video, but. Of course, you can take more time with your installation, but it just it does look pretty cool in your hand. It feels pretty nice. Um, no, no bulk, of course. It's a skin. It's what it's ideal for is scratch proof. So if I was to take my keys and scratch it, it's scratch proof. It won't scratch your phone in any way. So it's pretty cool. Of course, there's not going to be any drop protection, but you don't really expect that from a skin. Now, with all the designs on the software. You can pick from a wide range and um, make your phone stand out. With this cool pattern, it's definitely going to stand out from the crowd. You can get all these little cutouts for your um, your volume rockers, your silent switch. Now, it doesn't cover the corners, which is a bit annoying. It should cover all the corners, but um, that is just the way it's done. It doesn't cover the top either. All your, everything's exposed here and there. But it gives you a little thing, a little hole for your speaker when you're making calls, and you can also get, you can also take this bit out here, this cut out. You can take that out, but I just left it for video. It does cover all the bottom, and it does cover all the chrome and all the top, so that's pretty cool. I'm still having trouble actually sticking the sides down, but I, like I said, I rushed it, so it won't be perfect. Um, it does stick, as you can see. I just got to put a put put a bit of force into it but guys it does look pretty cool um, definitely very stylish and definitely very cool company I appeals link will be in the description if you want to go check these out but if you don't want to go check these out and you want to um, save some money um, then we're going to do a giveaway on these guys so like I said at the beginning of the video so that is pretty much the review nothing really much I can say it's a skin you make it yourself put all your designs on quite easy to apply it didn't take very long but I did rush it so if you're gonna want it perfect then yeah but yeah um the the printer it doesn't it looks great if you have a great printer then it's gonna look even better my printer isn't the best like I said but still looks very good 
camera hole, bit off, that's just my uh, applying to it, but I'm sure that if I was to slide to unlock and go to my camera, wherever that may be. Okay, so it is not covered in any way, so it looks pretty cool anyway. Okay, so there you go guys, that is my review on the iApple skins, the iPhone 3G and 3GS, now we're going to give these away.